All right, well, welcome everybody. I am pretty excited about those, which are just propane tanks. But it's the project that comes with the propane tanks that I am more excited for. Something I have wanted to do for a long time and have always had interest in and recent years due to a very popular television show has come back into popularity and has become more accessible and resources for me have become easier to find. So I'm going to start my journey on yet another new hobby today. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. I remember this time back in my middle school. Uh, it, I was, it was my first year of middle school, whatever grade that was. The grades around here were weird. Like we had elementary school and then middle school and then eight, nine school and then high school. But anyway, back to the point here, I remember in this career fair. It was the biggest thing that ever happened at that middle school for me. And it was crazy. They had the entire field just completely filled up. It wasn't like there's a little station over here and a little station over there and some stuff you can check out that way. No, it was completely chock full, which is crazy for the small town I live in. And it was, it was impressive. They had all kinds of people there doing all kinds of different professions and you could see just about anything. The one that really caught everyone's attention was Pretty obviously the army helicopters that they brought in. They brought in a Huey and I think it was an Apache. It was some kind of attack helicopter. It was a long time ago. Don't quote me on that. But everyone was flocking to those and they were cool. Don't get me wrong. But the thing that really caught my interest was this one small little tent. Walk on over there and you could hear this classic noise. Just in the distance and walking over there. Started fading in, getting more clear. But clear for what I didn't know what this noise was and I approached and I saw glowing orange things and hammers and an anvil and what do you know it was a blacksmith at this career fair in like what was it it's probably 2010 or something like that so I mean it was like 10 years ago it was a long time ago for me I know I, I make everyone feel old. I'm sorry I'm young whatever get over it and yeah there's this blacksmith in this tent in 2010 or something like that totally blew my mind i remember always being fascinated with these fantasy novels you know dragons and knights in armor and here was a blacksmith right in front of me and ever since then i have been completely fascinated with the prospect of actually being able to smith things and forge stuff and i thought about it quite a bit i didn't have a phone or any computers back then and no way to research something like that so it kind of went away for a long time and it would it would come up in my mind but it was such a far-fetched idea i didn't even consider it anymore and years later i saw this tv show forged in fire come on as many of you people know Forged in Fire is an awesome blacksmithing competition. It showed me how much blacksmithing really is still a thing. It totally reinvigorated my interest in the, in the thing. And at the time, I had nowhere to do a forge or anywhere I could do such projects. I had a teeny tiny little yard, and just it wasn't feasible. So fast forward another couple of years, and here I am at my new place. And I've still got some cleanup to do. I haven't really gotten this yard in order yet, which is why it's just kind of some dirt and some brush and stuff needs cleaned up but I have a space a space to where I can do some smithing and set up a forge safely without being too close to any structures and of course I'm gonna take that chance so I'm gonna take that chance here with you guys today and I am super duper excited for it and just completely amped up to be able to do something like this I actually already have a specific project in line that you guys can see I'm just super excited for it I don't know what else to say, I'm just so excited. So I am going to go ahead and assemble my burners for my forge today. I'm going to be operating off of the Frosty T burner. This fella out in Alaska actually made the, or designed this Venturi type burner that is naturally aspirated. And I'm curious to see how well that'll work at elevation here because I am in Colorado, pretty high up here. So I might need to do some tuning and stuff or change to a blower type, but it's gonna be a good cost efficient first try here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this propane tank right here as my forge body. It's an old empty one. And I've got a fresh one right there to use for my fuel. 
So today I'm gonna see if I can work on assembling the burners while I still have some daylight out and work on the forge another time. Let's get started. So I've got a box of parts here. And that is essentially what the burner will look like. Frosty recommends not using these bell reducers as a flare at the end. Um, that's what I'm going to use for my testing purposes. I've read that if you don't have something on here, it'll just blow itself out. So these are actually just for testing and I actually got them out of a stainless steel so they should be all right. Um, when it's all said and done, I will actually form a better flare in the, in the forge lining itself. And like I said, I've got a whole bunch of parts here. So first and foremost is this braided steel line with, with a pressure regulator for the propane tank itself. And on the one end of that, it's got a 3 8 inch flare. So I've got a 3 8, 3 8, inch, 3 8 inch ball valve as a shutoff. I'll be using this level adapter, which is a 3 8 inch flare to quarter inch pipe thread adapter along with a 3 8 inch flare couple. That'll go on there. Oop, that's actually not the right one. There you go, this is the right guy. 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch flare to quarter inch pipe thread. Now I have a different end design in process with different kinds of valves so I can independently control each of the two burners because it's going to be a two burner setup. So I have a lot of these pieces that will be used on the final setup but aren't going to be used today. Put this quarter inch pipe thread to quarter inch flare elbow right on there. And from there, we can use one of our quarter inch flare couples. And then I have a quarter inch flare to eight inch pipe thread adapter. I've got these little MIG tips. These 0.035 what I could find. And I'm going to need to tap this fitting so that this can thread right into there, just like that. So that's the first thing I need to do. And then this is going to thread into this T. So I also need to drill a hole and tap it on the back of here. So let's go ahead and get started with those. Okay, so this is going to be the hard part for me because I don't have a real vise. And also, as you may have noticed, I've got this tape on my hand. Um, I injured my finger. I can't actually, according to doctor's order, lift more than two pounds with this thing. So I'm kind of half a person here. Um, so I need to drill a hole in the top of this T very precisely. And I don't have a vise. I don't have a drill press, and I don't have real punches, so I'm gonna use this roofing nail to try to punch my actual center line. Big screw might do the trick. Much better. There we go. Uh, pre drill with a little tiny drill bit. Try my darndest to keep it square. Okay, and hopefully that is straight enough of a hole.
we go. Put that in there. Now I need to back this out and actually tap it. Just need to tap this inner thread for my MIG tips. So my MIG tip here is actually one quarter 28. I don't have to drill this at all, I just have to run the tap in it. And there we go. That is that. And it can thread right into here. I can tell just by looking in there, I'm gonna have to cut that down quite a bit because that is supposed to go approximately halfway across this gap and it's definitely passing past that point. Um, but that's a known thing. Uh, I can test it like this and tune it. Go with this and see how it works. All right. Now, I just need to assemble the thing. We should be pretty close here. Snug it up a little here. I'm gonna do it out this way. There we go. We should be ready to go for a test fire. call that a success and as you can see I was short quite a few materials and the right way to do it but it still worked out for me I don't know a huge amount about the flames or how that works and it looked like there was probably turbulence in there and definitely needed tuned but overall it was a success I'm gonna call that a win I am incredibly excited now to keep working on this uh, stay tuned I have a project I'm going to be using this for very very shortly I just have to figure a way to safely mount the burner in order to be able to heat up a couple pieces of metal nothing crazy but very soon we'll be building the actual forge for these to sit in I have most of the materials ready to go I'm just waiting for the valve to independently control each of my burners to come in yeah I'm super amped up for those of you that have been on the channel got the next episode of this desk coming up soon as you can see i'm actually using it i don't know how much you can actually see but i am moving along getting projects done and it feels awesome so if you want to join me on the rest of these projects hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this one and as small of a little test as it was go ahead and hit that thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching